for you this morning, December 9th. First, thanking you for waking me up. <laughs> it is early, but I am thankful and grateful for this new day. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would increase as I decrease on this prayer. Holy Spirit, help me to pray according to your will on this morning as I intercede for the body of Christ. I repent of my sins, known and unknown, and I thank you for the blood that was shed on Calvary for the remissions of my sins, Lord Jesus. Thank you for loving the church. Thank you for saving our souls. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for providing for us. And thank you for all that you are doing to restore your people in this hour. On this morning, I am praying for breakthrough and restoration of things stolen in seasons past for the body of Christ. A few minutes ago, the words recover all were on my mind. And that led me to 1 Samuel 30, 18 through 19, which was a reminder that King David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. There was nothing lacking. Your word reminded me that he got everything back that was stolen from him. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying that the body of Christ would begin to recover all. I pray that by your power, swift justice would be taken on the enemy and he would be forced to repay sevenfold what he has stolen from your people. And I'm not just talking about the restoration of finances that have been stolen over the years. I'm talking about time. Many of your people have been in wilderness seasons going around the bottom of the mountain for much too long. The enemy has intentionally distracted them to ensure they lose time. But I speak Joel 2.25 over the church on this morning. You are the God who will restore the years that the locusts have eaten. I am also talking about health. Many of your people are suffering with physical and mental ailments that are altering their quality of life right now. Jeremiah 30, 17 is a promise from you to restore health and heal wounds. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. So on this morning, I just thank you for the healing that is going forth for all who are currently suffering in their bodies or in their minds from disease, ailments, sicknesses. I just thank you that the healing is here. I thank you that restoration of health is here restoration of quality of life is here in the name of Jesus. I am also talking about marital covenants that the enemy has attempted to destroy through financial hardship, infidelity, sickness, or whatever other challenges that have come up against these marriages. I am praying that these marital covenants would be restored in the name of Jesus. Even the ones that have ended in divorces that you did not want and you did not sanction. Oh, yes. There are married couples who have recently gotten divorced and these divorces were not of you. I am praying in the name of Jesus that these people would find their way back to each other by the power of your Holy Spirit. I pray these marriages would be restored, strengthened, and anointed to carry your glory in these end times. Father, I am also talking about the restoration of love, peace, and joy. Um, so many in the body of Christ have been suffering significantly and are in need of a restoration of love, peace, and the fullness of joy that is talked about in Psalm 51, 12. Many have just been down for so long and have taken so many losses that they are in need of a win. Um, so I just thank you. I just thank you right now that your word speaks of recovering all. Your word speaks of a season where your people finally get everything back that was stolen in seasons past. Your word speaks of justice and breakthrough for your people. There is hope in you. You are a God of justice. You don't sleep or slumber. You've seen everything the enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy. And you are a God who restores. I am also talking about deliverance, Father. Many people are still battling the same evil spirits they were struggling with this time last year and the year before. Um, some people just have not grown spiritually. There, There's... Um, 
almost like a hindrance in terms of spiritual maturity. I am praying in the name of Jesus for breakthrough. That doesn't necessarily involve a tangible or physical blessing, but a spiritual breakthrough that sets someone free on today. I thank you right now for the people who will never again struggle with alcohol, drugs, gambling, pornography, sexual perversion, or any other sin because of the power of deliverance that is going to go forth even now. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would break every chain that is holding your people captive on today. I am also talking about overdue promises, Father. The word says that you are not man that you shall lie. Your word also says that your word goes forth and will not return unto you void, but will accomplish that which you have sent it to do, and it will prosper the thing for which you sent it. Your word also says he who promised is faithful. I have walked with you long enough to know that you are a promise keeping God. And I just thank you right now for all of the physical manifestations of your promises that your people will soon see and touch. I thank you for your faithfulness to us during times when we were not faithful to you. Glory to God this morning. I thank you for never letting us go. I thank you for never giving us what we deserve. Your love is unconditional. There is nothing we can do to earn or deserve it, but on this morning, I thank you for it. Isaiah 61, 7 says, Instead of your shame, you will receive double portion, and instead of grace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion of your land, and everlasting joy will be yours. Father, I just thank you for your word. I thank you for the encouragement that comes from your word. It is a reminder of your character. It is a reminder of the everlasting love that you have for your people and the mercy that you continually show to us. In the name of Jesus, I am praying Isaiah 61, 7 over the body of Christ according to your perfect will. May your people be on the receiving end of double portions after having spent so many seasons in a dry, desolate place. May your people rejoice instead of continuing to experience disgrace. I just thank you in advance for what you are doing for your people, Father. Even in the book of Job, we can read that after his testing, you restored double. You restored him double. He got twice as much as he had before. And why? Because you are that kind of God. You are a God of second chances. You are a God of increase. You are a God that causes your people to prosper spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, and relationally. You always do a complete work. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Father, you are worthy of praise, glory, and honor. You are worthy of our obedience. You are worthy of our sacrifices. You are worthy of our trust. You are worthy of our love. You are worthy of our faithfulness. You are worthy of our adoration. Hallelujah. You are worthy of everything we have. And I just thank you for hearing my prayers on this morning and answering them according to your perfect will for the lives of your people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.